If you came across this intricately designed circle while diving in the ocean, what would you think? It must be human made, right? When Japanese divers discovered these in 1995, their minds went rampant with possibilities. Some even suggested that maybe aliens were involved. But the speculation came to an end when they finally caught the culprit in the act. The white spotted pufferfish. The male pufferfish is a true artist, nature's greatest if you will and his preferred medium is sand. His circular masterpieces are about two meters wide and can take up to 10 days to construct. Carefully positioned geometric rows of sandy sediment ridges are carved out and decorated with small shells and coral. So what's the point of it all? How does a fish so small create such large displays? And how are these circles able to decorate themselves? What do you think the artist's intention was behind this piece? If you said a nest, then you'd be right. Every mating season, male pufferfish get to work, constructing these carefully designed circular nests to attract mates. They swim back and forth, using their pectoral, anal, and tail fins to disrupt the sediment and create ornate patterns. When the circles are all finished, females show up to inspect them. If the art really speaks to them and they like what they see, then they'll reproduce with the males. The center of the circle features a specially decorated region meant for a female to lay her eggs in. Once the eggs are laid, the female takes off while the male goes about fertilizing them. He guards the eggs until they hatch and then abandons the nest, leaving it to be swept up by the current. The pufferfish isn't the only artist in the animal kingdom. Other species, such as the bowerbird, are known to create extravagant displays to attract mates. But what sets the pufferfish apart is that on top of being expressive artists, they're also engineers. These magnificent circles are pretty much designed to decorate themselves. You won't see the pufferfish picking up little piles of sediment and distributing them on his own. Instead, he designs the circle to funnel water and find sediment towards the center, and then to filter the water outwards through the circle's peak and valley system. That same system protects the laid eggs by slowing down the water current in the center by up to 25%. So not only are these formations beautiful, they're also functional. But scientists believe that at the end of the day, it's probably size that matters most. Sorry guys. The idea is that if a small fish makes such a large formation, there's probably a biological reason for the size. Because of the poor visibility deep in the ocean, and the distance between individuals, males have to make large nests in order for them to be found by females. But beyond just being able to find the things, we don't really know what else goes into a female's decision to breed with a particular male. Could they simply be impressed with his artistic flair? Well, because the whole circle is designed to collect sediment, researchers say there's no evidence that females care about anything more than the fine sand in the middle. So, while we may not completely understand their rituals, these fish show us that when looking for love, sometimes you've got to be creative. And that's why they're crazy creatures.